back to the weather emergency now. Let's go to Rob. Uh, what's the latest information you've got on Alfred? Where is it? How fast? And all that. Yeah, so it's still 195 kilometres east of Brisbane at this stage and its impacts on the coast have notably increased this morning compared to what we were seeing yesterday. So a lot more rain. The wind has picked up a little bit more than yesterday as well and the target is still New South Wales and a little bit into the border of Queensland where you can see the Gold Coast and particularly Coolangatta looking very wet this morning. But you can see the rain totals here. Brisbane only 12 millimetres, up to 40 in the southeastern suburbs of Brisbane. But further south, Coolangatta 128, Lismore 131 millimetres. So that is a bit of a concern as those rain totals climb rapidly there. Uh, and we're starting to see some moderate river rain flooding in some pockets as well in the Bel River. So water levels are starting to rise, uh, but let's have a look at the wind facet before we move on. You can see we've had some damaging gusts in multiple spots already. Up to 120 this morning at Cape Byron and Ballina has again gusted close to 90 kilometres per hour. But thankfully, this system's strongest winds still are just 130 kilometres an hour. There are fears we could see gusts up to 155, but I don't think that will eventuate. I think it's going to be on the low end of Category 2, or maybe even make landfall as a Category 1 at tropical cyclone. So that is some good news at least. But in terms of the rainfall, we're still anticipating a lot more wet weather to come with this system as it likely makes landfall overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. And the heaviest rain, particularly for Brisbane and the Gold Coast, will probably be tomorrow. So there's still a long way to go in terms of the rainfall for this event and therefore a long way to go in the flooding situation. Major flood warnings. Logan and Albert Rivers, the Tweed, the Brunswick, Richmond and Wilsons, Arara, Bellinger and Nambucca. But thankfully so far we haven't seen all that much. Only one river, the Bellinger, seeing that moderate flooding. We're likely to get to major in that river and a chance in all of these others. So a lot still to contend with. The waves, they've been enormous. Look at this one for yeah. Brisbane. 17 metre wave Ooh. observed yesterday. That's a new record for Queensland. Uh, the waves are staying very large on the coast, still with that damaging surf warning and still that risk of abnormally high tides, each high tide that we're having uh, and maybe that storm surge. But the risk of the storm surge has dropped slightly with that lack of really strong winds in this system. Pete? Hey, can I have a question? Where is, was the wave, the 17 metre uh, wave in Brisbane. So that was just off Morton Island. That was off Morton Island, so just north of Stratty there. Yeah. Massive. Yeah. All right. Uh, trying to work out how many stories that is off the top of my head, but it's a lot. Thanks, Rob. <laughs>